Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So objective of this lesson is to understand the position of hydrogen in periodic table. Understand the preparation of dihydrogen, there is nothing but hydrogen gas. You need to understand the isotopes of hydrogen, there are three isotopes. We will understand the structure, physical and chemical property of water which is made out of hydrogen. We will understand hard and soft water and how to soften hard and soft water. We will also understand heavy water and its importance. We will study hydrogen peroxide, we will study the uh, properties of hydrogen peroxide, manufacture of this, usage of hydrogen peroxide and all the stuff. We will also study electron deficient, electron precise, electron reach, hydrogen economy, hydrogen generation, all these terms we will understand. So let's start with the first topic what is hydrogen as we all know hydrogen is nothing but a chemical element with the symbol H atomic number one and this is the first element in the periodic table right so this is what hydrogen is right and it is the lightest element and atomic weight is 1.007949 so this is all we know about hydrogen we have learned the periodic table and we know hydrogen we know uh, the chemical property of hydrogen that it is uh, uh, i mean the, the chemical symbol is h atomic number is one atomic weight is 1.00794 unit it is a lightest element this is all we know about hydrogen correct and we have hydrogen being used in a lot of places for example in the metallurgy industry where we refine ores or uh, do a lot of stuff in metallurgy we use hydrogen extensively hydrogen is used a lot if you see the water water is nothing but s2o you must be knowing that so we have hydrogen here also and water is very very crucial for us right if you see the petrol and all they're all organic compounds we have cnh uh, m form right so these are all hydrogen involved here. You take methane, ethane, any gasoline, you have hydrogen involved there. You take the rocket propellant, hydrogen exists there. Hydrogen is used. You take any vegetable, fruits, it has hydrogen. You take any animals, any living animals, it has hydrogen. If you take human also, we have hydrogen in our body. In fact, you see, we have water. 70% like water and water nothing but hydrogen. Right? So, so hydrogen exists most of the place. If you see the nuclear reactors, we use hydrogen. We use hydrogen to control the nuclear reaction. We'll, we'll study these things in the next two slides. But the point I'm trying to drive is hydrogen is used in a lot of places. Sulfuric acid, very common acid we use, right? H2SO4 has hydrogen. In fact, all the acid has hydrogen because the the the, the, the definition of acid itself is the one which can lose H plus ion, and they are uh, acids, right? So it has hydrogen. So hydrogen has a huge implication on life. If you see, we ourselves have a lot of hydrogen in our body. Any living body has hydrogen. Nuclear um, electrical production needs hydrogen. Any vegetables, any fruits has hydrogen. The gasoline which we use has hydrogen. Also, hydrogen is a um, very um, put has has huge potential to replace petrol and diesel the gasoline in the cars because uh, these this uh, the coal and the uh, petrol diesel all these are getting exhausted because we have limited source of uh, all these uh, um, energies coal petrol and gasoline so hydrogen is coming up uh, as a potential replacement for uh, all these there are some challenges uh, where it is little difficult to store hydrogen we will come out, come out uh, we'll talk about that when we talk about hydrogen economy just to start with uh, just to give you an idea of what hydrogen is and what is the use of hydrogen why should we study hydrogen right you should know that hydrogen is used in variety of places okay so and let's talk about history of hydrogen also a little bit before we actually start the chapter so this was uh, hydrogen was discovered in 16th century and as you know, right, all the elements which has less atomic numbers or atomic mass, they were discovered earlier. The one with heavy atomic mass and numbers were discovered later because 
uh, the chemists didn't have a lot of equipment to uh, discover those things, right? And it was first uh, recognized uh, from Paracelsus by Paracelsus from reaction between iron and sulfuric acid. He he did his reaction and he got some gases and he recognized this there's something, right? But he, he didn't know what is that and he didn't give the name also till that time the name was not given. It was just that okay some gas evolved uh, when iron and sulfuric acid reacted and then this uh, Cavendish was able to produce it again in uh, 1766 with other experiments and then it was Lavoisier who gave this name. Lavoisier gave this name because it produces water because we see hydrogen when burned in oxygen it produces water. Right? You want to write balance. Which is balance reaction. So it was Lavoisier who gave this name because hydrogen means hydro means water and zen is producer. So water producer is hydrogen. So this was the name given by Lavoisier and it means water producer. Okay. So this is the history of hydrogen. So we have studied what is hydrogen in a very very uh, brief way, introductory way. What is the use of hydrogen and what is the history of hydrogen. The next question that comes to our mind is we have so many elements in the periodic table, right? So we have tons of elements, uh, more than 100 odd elements. What is so special about hydrogen that we have one full chapter devoted to hydrogen? There has to be something special, right? So we don't have a chapter called oxygen, we don't have a chapter called carbon, when we have but we don't have a chapter called sulfur, phosphor, or sodium. So we don't have a different chapter for different uh, elements. But for hydrogen, we do have. For carbon also, I think we have. But for hydrogen, we have. So there has to be something special about hydrogen. So what is special about hydrogen that we have a separate chapter for hydrogen, right? So there has to be something that, guys, if you see, this guy has a, um, a special status, hydrogen. So let, let's talk about what is special about hydrogen. The first thing is, it is the first element, right? So not everybody is first. This guy is first. This guy is the first element. This guy is the lightest element. This guy is the lightest element. It has only one proton and one electron. There is no neutron in the dihydrogen. In the dihydrogen, there is no electron. We'll talk about different isotopes of hydrogen. We'll see uh, deuterium and tritium isotopes where we have electron, uh, neutron. But in this hydrogen, the most uh, occurring one, there is no neutron, only one proton, one electron, right? And they have properties similar to alkane. You see the periodic table, let me draw it. The first groups which you have, right? Uh, lithium, potassium, uh, sodium, all these uh, lithium, sodium, potassium, this particular group one elements, it has properties similar to that. It has properties similar to halogen also. Halogen is this guy here. If you see, uh, just uh, uh, this is noble gas, and this is halogens. I have chlorine, fluorine, iodine, those kind of elements, right? So it has. Uh, we just write it. Sodium, potassium. Yeah. So it has properties similar to halogens also. So if you see, it has properties similar to this guy. It has properties similar to this guy, and that's the reason why it was really difficult to uh, place hydrogen. We'll, we'll talk about that. Let's understand that it has. Property similar to group 1 and property similar to halogens also. It is most abundant element in the universe. Please note we are not talking about earth, we are not talking about solar system, we are talking about the whole universe. In universe, hydrogen is 70%. Please note, we are earth will be this will be earth somewhere and this will be our solar system somewhere, I believe. Right? This will be our solar system. This is the whole universe. This big universe, 70 percent size. It's a big thing, right? So we are not talking about Earth. We are not talking about solar system. We are talking about the whole universe. In this universe, we have 70 percent hydrogen. In Earth, we have 15 percent hydrogen. 15 percent, and it's the third most abundant. In Earth, we don't have that much hydrogen, but in the universe, we have more hydrogen. In Earth, we have 15 percent hydrogen. And as I told, if you talk about water, if you talk about petrol, diesel, any gasoline, you talk about human being, you talk about animals, you talk about vegetable, fruits, you have hydrogen. Right? So, hydrogen is, is almost everywhere, it's very critical for us. It's used very heavily in the metallurgy industry also. Right? And to create acids also. 
and it is very much abundant in uh, universe and third most abundant in earth first element lightest element and property similar to both alkane and halogens not not every element has properties similar to uh, this group and this group right so that is something which is special about that so let's talk about uh, uh, the properties similar to alkane and halogen in little uh, depth thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again